Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church, with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. In our, this Advent season, we've been reading the scriptures that talk about Jesus' birth and the events leading up to it. Um, in these previous days leading up to this, we've been reading in Luke chapter 1, talking about God's promise to Zechariah and Elizabeth to have a child in their old age. They'd been unable to have any children, and now an angel appears to Zechariah and says, you're going to have a child and a son who's going to prepare the way for the Messiah. So now in verse 26, the story kind of shifts over to somebody else in this story. Starting in verse 26 of Luke chapter 1. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Concerned and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, How can this be? I am a virgin. The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. For the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, your relative, Elizabeth, has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month. For the word of God will never fail. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. Boy, you know, most uh, biblical scholars believe that Mary was very young. She was a young woman. She was not married yet. She um, she probably was, you know, maybe 14, 15. I don't know. Pretty young. Imagine suddenly having this angel up here. I think I would be a little bit frightened. And then to have this amazing message that God has chosen you to hold, be the mother of his son. And she's like, well, what are you talking about? How can this even be? And it's the Holy Spirit who would bring this about. Mary's response is what our response needs to be when God has work for us to do, when God wants to do something miraculous in us. Simply to respond, I'm the Lord's servant. May everything you've said about me come true. We don't understand everything God's up to. We can, can't can do anything to help God or to hinder God. He's going to have his way. But we can be in the right attitude that says, God, whatever you want to do in and through me, I want to be your servant. I want to do what you're calling me to do. I want to be available for whatever your purposes are. It may be something miraculous like Mary experienced, but most likely it will be everyday opportunities to be God's representative in this world, in the relationships you have in your family, with your coworkers, with your neighbors, with your classmates, whatever situation you're in. God has a purpose for you. Your job, like Mary, is to simply say, hey, I'm the Lord's servant. You have your way. I just want to be in your will and to do what you're calling me to do. Let's pray. Father, we want to be your servant. We want to have the attitude of openness like Mary. Boy, we don't understand what's going on. And we probably would uh, have a real serious headache if we tried to figure it all out. Instead, we're not called to figure things out. We're called simply to trust you and to obey. Lord, help us to be in tune with you. Help us to be in a right relationship so that we can receive 
your message. And we can be a part of what you're trying to accomplish in our life and in our influence, sphere of influence. Lord, we pray that we would be open and receptive and then we would trust you and we would walk forward as you open and guide us. We want to follow you with our life and to live our lives as your servant, ready to do and to trust you and to be a part of your work. And we thank you in advance for what you're going to do in and through us. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, again, this angel message coming to Mary that you're going to be the mother of God's son. What an amazing, unbelievable promise. But Mary's response and our response always needs to be, I'm the Lord's servant. May everything that you've said come true. And may I be the one who trusts you and to respond accordingly. God bless you as you open your heart up to be used by God, however he sees fit, as we are his servant. Have a great day. God bless.